We've been in this business about three centuries, this family. We do about 350 a year, something like that. Well, this is the start of the process, really. How you doing, lads? Oh, he looks nice and ripe, doesn't he? Yeah, being creative people, it's important they uh, get a lot of praise, you know, massage their egos, especially just before the harvest. Some of these have been in a little bit longer, just to make them a little bit more mature, but uh, you've got to be careful not to leave them in too long, otherwise they get a bit, you know, temperamental. <laughs> There's old Ucky here. Oh, he missed his harvest. So he's useless, he's no good to anyone. So he just leaves him in there as a reminder. We got about 200 creatives in the top field and about 150 or so in the bottom field. This is the hydraulic juicer. Uh, we used to wind these down by hand in the old days, but these modern ones are great. They give you 10% more juice per pressing. <laughs> 30 tons per square inch comes up through that ram here, it squashes them flat. The juicers run out down there through that funnel there into this tank here. There we are. Pure creative juice, that is. Smell that. No, don't bloody drink it. Well, it'll blow your bloody head off, that would. <laughs> well, this here is a distribution centre where we would get all the juices ready to send out to all the people in the southwest, all the companies that need creativity. Now, over here, we've got the Bristol Blue. Now, that's good for... Uh, online and direct marketing campaigns. Around here we've got the uh, Plymouth Peculiar. That's used mainly for uh, TV ads and the like, those sort of campaigns. Uh, what's the wire here? For larger consumers, we ship these out on the back of the Unimog. A lot of these extra version pressings go to the computer games and uh, animation industries. You know, like the uh, Wallace and Gromit little movies they make and the Playstations, yeah. No, 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 that's not advised, no. No. I mean, I don't drink it. He does. Well, this is where we uh, test our new blends. This is a Swindon rootstock grafted to pure Cornwall foliage. Very specialist, that. Good for coming up with ideas as mad as a badger. Mind you, you've got to be careful not to use too much of it, otherwise uh, you could find yourself painting toenails on the fairies. <laughs> and of course, there's next year's crop coming through. Yeah, any rotten ones, uh, we just mulch them and send them up to Chelsea for the flower show. There's a lot of people pontificating about future of advertising and TV and all that sort of thing, but I say you can't go wrong with a good idea. Creative Industries, well, it's very strong in this region, and I hope we'll be in this business for generations to come.